guys welcome back to Drew tutorial and if you're new a special special welcome to you now guys in today's video i'm gonna show you how to install google apps your favorite google apps on your windows 10 or windows 11 pc before we jump in guys would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video and on top of that the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. So you want to go ahead and open up any browser you may have. Right now I'm in Google Chrome and once you're in Google Chrome the first thing you want to do is just simply head over to Google. You want to head over to google.com and you want to sign in to your Gmail account. Now you'll be able to see the sign in on the uppermost right hand side and then you can take it from there and sign into your email account there you put in your email address your password and then once you're in you can just simply head over to google right now once you're done go ahead and click the box here with these dots which is the google apps on the upper right hand side right beside your profile icon here and as you can see here you will find quite a lot of different gmail quite a lot of different google apps right so in order to install these as a google app you want to go ahead and click into any one of these or you can simply go ahead and right click so for the purpose of this video i'm going to open up a few of them so that you can see how to basically install them onto your computer so i'm going to click on gmail as well i'm going to click on google meet as well drive as well and for example google chat and the list goes on and on and on and on guys you can even do google sheets you can do docs as well you name it google earth you will see so all of these i'll be showing you how to install them on your windows 11 pc you can do all of them so what you want to do guys click on each of them that you want to install and there's two things to note there are some of these applications that once you will open them you will be able to see the install icon up here and i'll be showing you one example soon if not all you have to do once you log in or once you click on each of those apps you want to go ahead and click the three that's on the uppermost right hand side here within google chrome then go down to where you find the option that says save and share and you want to go ahead sometimes you will see install page as an app and you will see something like that you can easily click it to install it as an app or you can just simply go ahead and click create shortcut. I'm going to show you this option in a, a bit later. So go ahead and click install as an application, then go ahead and click on install. And as you can see here, it is installed as an application. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out for a moment, minimize. And you can see that I also have it here on the uppermost right hand side. If I click my Windows icon on my taskbar here, you can easily go ahead and you can install Google Play. So if you go ahead and type in Google Play, so if I go ahead and I type in Google Play, you can see that I have it on my computer as well as an application, as you can see, and I can click on it and it will be open as an application, right? So let me continue and go ahead and install another one. So this is, for example, YouTube. You can see on the uppermost right hand side here within the address bar that it also have an install application. You can click directly from here to click on install. And there you have it. I now have YouTube installed as an application. I'm going to do a few more as well. So you can see this, for example, Google Maps. You can click the tree that's here in the uppermost right hand side. Go down to save and share. Now, in this case, you don't see the install, but you simply want to go ahead and click create shortcut. The trick here is to click on this box that says open as a window. So once you do that, click create. And as you see here, it installed as an app on the lower right hand side and you have it here as a window. Now, I'm going to minimize again and show you that these are installed as an app. So these are all applications here that you can open. And as well, if you go to, for example, your if you go to your install apps here on your Windows PC, you will be able to find all of these applications here being installed. So, for example, if I type in YouTube, you will see that YouTube is there. There you have it. If I type in Google Maps, you will see that I have it as well. And there you have it. So you can see that these applications are installed as an app and you can go ahead and uninstall them right here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the process of install a few more so that you can see. So for example, Gmail, you can do the same for Gmail. Go ahead, go down to save and share and you can install this one as an app directly. Some of them gives you that, as I mentioned. So you have the Gmail there, you have Google Meet. For example, it has this one on the uppermost right hand side of the address bar, you can install it. You have Google Drive here, you can go ahead and you can install it. You have Google Chat here, you can go ahead and you can install it. 
You have the Google Sheets here, click the three dots, go down to save and share, and then you can install it as well as an application. And likewise, the same goes for the Google Docs as well. You can install as an application. So guys, there you have it, guys. So the trick here is this, three ways to go about installing these apps. If you look on the address bar, you'll be able to see that you have the install up within the address bar. You can click it from here. If not, click the tree that's here, go down to save and share, and you will see install. If you don't see install, you just simply go ahead and click the shortcut and then click open in a new window and this will trigger it to install the application as you can see here as a window. And you can do this for all of those Google apps, all of your favorite Google applications. You can do this to install them as an application. And as you can see, I have all of these on my computer here and I can go ahead and I can uninstall them as normally as an application if I no longer need them, right? Another way how you can easily uninstall them directly and don't even have to go to install app is by opening up any one of them, click the three dots towards the upper right hand side and you will see uninstall the app. You can uninstall it directly, click remove and that will be removed. So this is another way how to uninstall them if you don't want to go to your install apps directly here on your Windows PC to search for them manually. Here you have it guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.